here. CNN's John Zarella is live for us in Miami. John, the telescope uh, was spared, but this is by no means a long-term guarantee, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right, Alina and Carol. You know, consider Webb the younger, smarter brother to Hubble, the Hubble telescope. But Webb has been a real problem child with cost overruns and schedule delays. Yet, because of its incredible promise, NASA has fought tooth and nail to keep the Webb telescope. This is the future outside the Maryland Science Center. It's a full-scale model of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Scientists believe the real thing will redefine our understanding of our place in the universe. It will be so unique it can look further back in time than the Hubble telescope, almost to the dawn of creation. The James Webb telescope is to help us find our entire history, from the first things after the Big Bang to how the first galaxies are born. And astronomers say if they look in just the right place and get just a bit lucky... This may give us our first clues about the existence of life in another solar system. If we could see uh, a planet like Earth with an ocean, I think that would be really cool. Webb will orbit about one million miles from Earth. Its instruments are designed to image primarily in the infrared range, light we can't see. Webb's capabilities will allow it to literally look where Hubble could not, into gas and dust clouds at the birth of the first stars and planets. Sounds incredible, right? Webb might get us another step closer to solving the puzzle. Are we alone? I don't even know how you would put a price on being able to answer questions like, uh, how old is the universe? How did this all start? Where is it going? What is it made of? Are there other people out there like us? These questions are just so intrinsic. But there is a price tag. When Webb is finally launched in 2018, it will be years behind schedule and cost about $8.8 .8 billion. Six and a half billion more than the original estimate. At one point, Congress came close to killing it. So what happened? How did it end up astronomy at an astronomical cost? When you're doing inventions and things for the first time, you don't know exactly what you're going to run into. And we found several things that we had to work around. And it better work from the get-go. When Hubble ran into problems, space shuttle astronauts came to the rescue. But Hubble was only 300 miles up. At one million miles away, even if the shuttle was still flying, it couldn't get there to fix Webb. You know, one of the things it really came down to for NASA was the project was so far along in the pipeline, so much work had been done on the giant mirrors, that it would have cost even more money to scrub the project than to keep going on with it. And because of its incredible promise, they did not want to cancel it. Now, tomorrow, you know, we've been looking at, is there life out there? What are the realities of finding life? But at the same time, we need to be protecting life here on Earth from asteroids out there. So we're going to take a look at what some scientists are doing to protect us mm. from what's out there. All right. That's something I'm interested in. All right, yeah. John Zarella. Yeah. Sure. Let's protect those the, the humans on Earth. All right, yeah. John Zarella. Thank you so much.